The no scalpel vasectomy was developed in the province of Sichuan, China by Dr. Xuanchang Li. By 1988, over 10 million no scalpel vasectomies were performed in China. In 1987, AVSC International initiated international no scalpel vasectomy training in Thailand and other developing countries, and in 1988, sponsored the King's Birthday Vasectomy Festival in Thailand, at which time 1,203 vasectomies were performed in one day. This picture shows the patients waiting for their vasectomy. This next picture shows the assembly line of operating tables that allowed 1,203 vasectomies to be performed in a single day. At the King's Birthday Vasectomy Festival, experienced vasectomists were divided into two groups. The conventional vasectomy group performed 523 cases, and the no-scalpel vasectomy team performed 680 cases. As shown in this table, the infection rate, hematoma rate, and complication rate were dramatically lower in the no-scalpel vasectomy group compared to the conventional vasectomy group. Dr. Goldstein introduced the no-scalpel vasectomy to the United States at the New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center in 1986. This table shows the results of the no-scalpel vasectomies performed in China, New York, and Spain. In the New York series, we have had no infections and no hematomas. The results were identical in Spain. In the extraordinarily large Chinese series, the hematoma rate was only 0.09% and the infection rate less than 1%. The major advantages of the no scalpel vasectomy are less pain and bleeding and an overall complication rate of only one-tenth of that of conventional vasectomy. Operating time is at least 50% faster than a conventional vasectomy. Patients recover more rapidly and the increased patient satisfaction results in good word of mouth about the no-scalpel vasectomy. The differences from conventional vasectomy technique include a local anesthetic method that produces a vasal nerve block and the use of a puncture hole that is dilated rather than have an incision to deliver the vas. With this technique, blood vessels and nerves are pushed aside instead of cut. The ideal no-scalpel vasectomy results in minimal bleeding and no intraoperative pain. Prior to vasectomy, a history and physical examination of the scrotum should be performed. The keys to an easy no scalpel vasectomy include a warm antiseptic solution and warm operating room. This allows relaxation of the scrotal dartus muscle, facilitating isolation and fixation of the vas deferens. The no scalpel vasectomy instrumentation includes two specialized instruments. The ringed clamp has a cantilever design that prevents injury to the scrotal skin. When this clamp is locked, the pressure on the scrotal skin is reduced, preventing inadvertent puncture of the skin. When the ring clamp surrounds the skin in the vast efferents, the layers that are included in the clamp are shown here. The second instrument is the curved sharp hemostat used as a trocar to puncture the scrotal skin and provide an opening through which the vas can be delivered. This instrument is also used to dissect and deliver the vas. Finally, thermal cautery is used for sealing the lumen of the vas with minimal damage to the surrounding muscularis and adventitia. Surgical preparation includes shaving of the skin of the upper scrotum and retraction of the penis with a rubber band onto the upper abdomen, keeping it out of the way. After scrubbing with a betadine solution, the skin is washed off with a clear water-based antiseptic solution. The procedure begins with fixation of the vas deferens using the three-finger technique. Starting on the patient's right side, the middle finger of the left hand is placed beneath the scrotum and the spermatic cord structures are drawn from the midline laterally until the vas deferens is trapped between the middle finger, the thumb and the index finger. The location of the thumb is just below the optimal site for the puncture wound. The middle finger elevates and isolates the vas, while the index finger stabilizes the vas. Once the vas is firmly fixed using the three-finger technique, the vasal nerve block is performed. The equipment used for the nerve block includes a 10cc syringe, 1% lidocaine without epinephrine, and a 1.5-inch fine-gauge needle. 
A one centimeter superficial skin wheel is raised over the site of the indented puncture on top of the vas deferens. The needle is then advanced along the vas deferens within the vasal sheath toward the external inguinal ring and three to five milliliters of 1% lidocaine is injected around the vas deferens at a location away from the actual vasectomy site. The left vas deferens is then fixed with the left hand using the three finger technique. And a vasal nerve block is performed in an identical fashion, shifting the previous puncture hole to the new injection site. The right vas deferens is fixed with the ringed clamp by first stretching the scrotal skin tightly over the underlying vas and applying firm pressure downward as the blades of the ring clamp are opened and the vas deferens encircled. The clamp is locked and the scrotum palpated to ensure that the vas deferens is trapped within the ringed clamp. The scrotal skin and vas wall are punctured using one blade of the sharp curved hemostat introduced at a 45 degree angle downward into the lumen of the vas deferens. The tips of the curved hemostat are closed and then reintroduced into the puncture hole. The skin and vasal sheath and vas wall are spread, revealing the bare vas deferens and its lumen. The vas is then delivered by skewering the vas with one blade of the curved hemostat at the same time that the ringed clamp is released, allowing delivery of the vas deferens. The vas deferens is then grasped with the ringed clamp to secure it firmly. The sheath and basal vessels are then carefully stripped from the vas using the sharp curved hemostat to yield a bare segment of vas approximately 1.5 centimeters in length. To summarize, skin, vas sheath and wall are punctured with the sharp curved hemostat. The vas is delivered and stripped of its sheath. After re-grasping the bare vas with the ringed clamp, the vas is hemitransected with a sharp scissors in two locations allowing introduction of the thermal cautery, which is used to occlude the lumen. The vas is further secured with medium weck hemoclips placed in such a way that the clips form a V pointed downward, allowing easy return of the occluded vasal ends to the scrotum. After the hemoclips are placed, a one centimeter segment of vas is removed and after checking for bleeding, the ends of the vasa are allowed to return to the scrotum. An identical procedure is performed on the right vas through the same puncture wound. Bacitracin ointment is placed on the wound and sterile dressings are held in place with the scrotal supporter. To review, the vas is fixed, the vas wall is punctured into the lumen, the vas is dissected, the vas is delivered, stripped of the vasal sheath containing its vessels, and is then occluded. The no scalpel vasectomy is not an easy procedure to learn and requires hands-on training. There is a significant learning curve. Proper instrument handling requires hands-on instruction. Isolation of the vas through a thick or contracted scrotum can be challenging. Working with a scrotal model facilitates learning the no scalpel vasectomy. It allows practice with the instruments. The adage of all surgical learning, see one, do one, and teach one, holds for the no scalpel vasectomy as well. Expect a significant learning curve requiring at least 10 cases. Use the scrotal model to learn manipulation of the no scalpel vasectomy instruments and learn the approach to the vas deferens.